welcome. Did you know that your body is home to trillions of microorganisms outnumbering your own human cells? This bustling community, mostly in your gut, is called your microbiome and it plays a huge role in your overall health. I'm Dr. Lorena Law and today we're diving into the fascinating world of probiotics. You've probably seen them in yogurts or as supplements, but what does the science actually say about them? The World Health Organization defines probiotics as live microorganisms that, when administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit on the host. But the key is in the details. Which strains? in what amounts and for which benefits. To answer that, I'll be exploring the latest evidence from randomized human clinical trials based on a comprehensive 2025 review paper that analyzed thousands of studies. Let's separate the hype from the science. For a long time, we thought that the gut is just a simple digestive tube, but now we know it's more like a central communication hub. Scientists call this the microbiome organ axis, a series of information highways connecting your gut to other vital organs. Think of the gut-brain axis. It's a constant two-way conversation between your gut and your brain. This connection helps explain why you might get butterflies in your stomach when you're nervous, and it's why researchers are now studying how gut health can influence mood and cognitive function. Then there's the gut-skin axis, my favorite topic. Chronic skin issues like eczema or acne can often be linked to inflammation that starts in the gut. A balanced gut microbiome can help calm this inflammation, leading to healthier skin. And we can't forget the gut-liver axis. Your liver is your body's main filter, and it works closely with your gut. An unhealthy gut can send toxins to the liver, contributing to conditions like fatty liver disease. This is a revolutionary shift in medicine. It means that by supporting our gut health, we can potentially influence our mental clarity, our skin's appearance, and so much more. And this is where probiotics come in, as a tool to help nurture that foundational gut balance. So what does the evidence from randomized human trials actually tell us? Let's look at a few key areas. First, gut health itself. For those struggling with irritable bowel syndrome or IBS, the symptoms of bloating, pain, and irregular bowel habits can be debilitating. In a large 2023 clinical trial with 456 participants, a specific yeast-based probiotic called Saccharomyces cerevisiae was shown to significantly improve overall IBS symptoms and reduce abdominal pain. Next, let's talk about something we all care about our skin. We often think of skincare as something we apply topically, but what if I told you that healthy, youthful skin might start in your gut? In a remarkable 2015 study with 110 women aged 41 to 59 who had dry skin and crow's feet, participants took the probiotic Lactobacillus plantarum HY7714 daily for 12 weeks. The results showed significant increases in skin hydration and water content in both the face and hands. Additionally, there were significant reductions in wrinkle depth, improvements in skin gloss, and enhanced elasticity. This wasn't just about how people felt. These were objectively measured findings using specialized equipment. The probiotic was so effective that it was actually approved by the Korean Food and Drug Administration as a functional probiotic that promotes skin hydration. Another study with 84 Korean women aged 40 to 60 use a prebiotic called galacto-oligosaccharide or GOS, which feeds beneficial gut bacteria. After 12 weeks, participants showed significant decreases in melanin and erythema, that's dark spots and redness, compared to the placebo group. For those dealing with eczema, especially in children, a 2021 study of 151 children found that Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG helped decrease the severity of eczema and improve the skin's natural barrier function. This is the gut-skin axis in action. Supporting your gut health can translate to visible improvements in your skin. For more details on the gut-skin axis, you can read my chapter titled Functional and Integrative Medicine in Skin Health and Diseases from the textbook A Guide to Aesthetic Medicine and Cosmetic Surgery via the link below. Now let's talk about the area that affects many women but isn't discussed enough vaginal health. Bacterial vaginosis, or BV, is one of the most common vaginal infections, causing discomfort and often recurring even after treatment. The vaginal microbiome, like the gut, relies on beneficial bacteria, particularly Lactobacillus species, to maintain a healthy balance. A 2021 study with 127 women found that using a specific Lactobacillus crispatus strain after standard antibiotic treatment significantly reduced BV recurrence and prolonged the time before symptoms returned. This demonstrates how probiotics can 
can work alongside conventional medicine to provide longer lasting relief. And perhaps the most exciting frontier, could probiotics impact our mental well-being? The science is pointing to yes. A 2023 study gave a 14 strain probiotic formula to 130 participants with depression. Participants saw a significant reduction in their depression scores and also reported better gut function. Another study on Alzheimer's with 169 participants found that a specific bifidobacterium strain led to significant improvement in cognitive tests. It's important to remember that probiotics are not a cure-all. They are not a replacement for conventional medical treatment. These studies show a benefit, but the results can vary from person to person. So always consult your doctor first before stopping or starting any medications and supplements. This information is for educational purposes and not medical advice. If you're considering probiotics, the supplement aisle can be overwhelming. So how do you choose? Here are four key things to look for. First, strain specificity. Not all probiotics are the same. Lactobacillus acidophilus is the species, but you want to look for specific strains like Lactobacillus rhamnosus GG. That strain name is your guarantee that you're getting the exact microbe that was tested in clinical trials. Second, the CFU count. CFU stands for colony forming units, which tells you how many live microbes are in each dose. The trials we've discussed use doses ranging between 1 billion to over 100 billion CFUs. Look for products that clearly state the CFU count in the billions. Third, food versus supplements. You can absolutely get beneficial probiotics from fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, kimchi, and sauerkraut. These are fantastic for general gut health. However, if you're targeting a specific health concern, a supplement provides a more more concentrated and specific dose of the strains that have been clinically studied. And most importantly, fourth, consult a professional. Your doctor or a registered dietitian can help you determine if a probiotic is right for you and guide you to the best choice for your unique health goals. So to summarize, the science is clear that our gut health is foundational to our overall wellness. Probiotics are powerful, evidence-based tool that can help support the balance of our microbiome with proven benefits for digestion, skin health, and even mental well-being. The the future is looking even more exciting. Research is moving towards personalized probiotics, where we might one day be able to select specific strains tailored to our unique genetic makeup and microbiome. Taking an active role in your health is one of the most empowering things you can do. Understanding the science behind tools like probiotics is a great first step. Thank you for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more evidence-based health content. And I'd love to hear from you. Leave your questions in the comments below. Stay healthy and be well.